That was a fast five minutes, at least it was for us in the studio. Time flies huh? when you're Tom, having we, fun. We're having a good time. We left off with a, we were talking a little bit about people, how they, the barriers and things like that. Mm -hmm. Before we go any further, real quickly, I just want to tell you a few things that are going on in Vegas so that I can let Tom, we have a lot more to talk about, and I don't want to wait until the end of the show. Stoney's at Town Square is having a seventh anniversary on Friday, and it's open uh, to the public, seven, I think seven, seven thirty. They're going to have free line dancing, and then they have Keith Anderson, who's country zone. Great place. Yeah, it is fun, and they have beer pong and the the. I tell you, I've gone over there too. It's a great place. <laughs> when I was from Alabama, that's the best place to go in Las Vegas. Best if you're from damn place to best go. damn place ever. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of the path and the spiritual thing that you're on, mm -hmm. I find mm -hmm. this interesting that Deepak Chopra is going to be. Did you know this at the Reynolds Hall at Smith Center? I I had not heard One that. super fantastic night only. So One night um, only. Yeah, the future of well-being. That's Friday, October 28th at 7.30 p.m. And ticket starts at $35. I have a comment on that. Uh, for our Hispanic friends, we have the Mexican singer-songwriter Gloria Treville. Trevi? Trevi. And she's going to kick off her El Amor world tour, you know, El the Amor. love, um, at the Chelsea Inside the Cosmopolitan on Saturday, September 17th. Then you've got the Rock and Rollers. They're going to be at the New or at the Orleans. But you know what? I want to get back to you. So, viewers, if you want tickets, times, a lot more information about what's going on in Vegas, go to www.vegasonlyentertainment.com under Vegas VIPs. I was snickering about the ticket prices because they're actually becoming cheaper than trying to park around here. <laughs> you can go yeah. to a concert. And yeah. <laughs> and that's, wow. you know, we anyway. can probably remember the days when steak and lobster was nine ninety nine. <laughs> I give the good free old parking. days. And the, the shrimp cocktails for a dollar downtown. Oh, yeah. I moved here in 80. When did you move here? Man, I moved here the first time in 2000. Oh, well, then you're just and a you know, newbie. And, you know, we just, just moved back uh -huh. after going on tour and doing the other casinos around the country. So, yeah, yeah we're back, and, uh, you know, it seems like everything and keeps going up. And you're really excited about the reality show. And you've excited, got yeah. all the auditions coming up, and yep. we're talking about... Like you said, um, you know, the, the, the goal, you don't want to be, how did you put that? What's that? You run to pleasure and away from her. Well, you the, yeah, the core of, of all psychology is, is that, you know, we as human beings, we want to move towards pleasure and away from pain. So someone might be motivated because they don't want to feel pain anymore or feel uncomfortable. But someone also may say, I want to look like that. So that's moving towards pleasure versus towards, you know, away from pain. So well, that's the motivational factors that, that for everyone. So who do you expect is going to come to these? Uh, do you expect overweight? people do you expect a sure, skinny yeah. person who feels fat inside you know what you? more often than not it's going to be people that are overweight I mean okay. at the end of the day we want to see a physical and a mental transformation and so um, you know our goal our, typically someone that's 25 pounds or more is going to be a good candidate okay. someone that's not afraid to to, uh, to to let themselves be open right? right you know we're going to ask the questions you know who are you why are you here what do you want to change why do you want to change it and mm -hmm. tell us something about you and why should we pick you we want to know who they are as a person we want to know what their goals are because if we don't know where they want to go, then we certainly can't help them get there. No, and so, you'd have to unlock whatever the blockage is. Yeah, in and their so mind. you know, in a few minutes of an interview and an audition, I mean, at the end of the day, we're just trying to identify people who have the basic parameters, and then we're going to continue to refine those parameters. Right, and you do. You are a hypnotist. I, I mean, am. you have the ability to. I, hypnotize. I, you I had do. <laughs> hip naughty, hip hypno naughty on yeah, the strip. Yeah, hip naughty was for my uh -huh. show, and uh, the folks here at the studio, they've seen some clips of me doing my thing. I've done some stuff live and uh -huh. it's been a lot of fun so yeah I was here on the strip for years as, t as the rock and roll hypnotist uh -huh. and uh, we've transformed the show a little bit and you know I, I do corporate shows I also do you know private shows and awesome. so forth Love but it. yeah so travel and do all that fun yeah stuff. so we're so we're back and, and you know we're bringing the the concept here we're trying to get picked up to get mm -hmm. the pilot on a, on a network of some of course, sort that would be nice but um you know if you're out there and you're thinking you know would this be helpful for me if you're in this market um, I would encourage you to get in touch with me for the information on the screen at right. you know my email email or my phone number um, certainly get in touch with you and your show and yes and, and please find out. we'll be happy to uh, um, forward or yeah, yeah so you know if anyone has questions or wants to ask a question between now and the time we're through here that's fine uh, so it's all it's all really just try to find people who want to change something and look better and feel better and be healthy and speaking of finding so. the Heartland Mansion is not that hard to find it's downtown uh, 15th Street is it or 6th Street 6th Street yeah I think Paseo. so it's a big yeah. building 30,000 square miss feet it. Yeah. yeah beautiful yeah. too we have so. some pictures up of the yeah it's a great interiors. place. What a venue. I have another little question. Um, 
you personally, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously you're an uh, outgoing personality and everything, mm -hmm. and you've never been probably overweight or smoked or anything like that. Uh, no. But we, <laughs> you don't have to confess everything on the show. Can't edit it. Open so confession, <laughs> Christine, today. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've, have I used this on myself and well, other yeah, people? What barriers did you have, or did you, or yes? You know, for me, I, I've been very fortunate. I mean, I came from a military background, a military family. I personally served two tours in Desert Storm. Thank you. So thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Um, but but at the same time, I, you know, as an athletic back, my background in athletic, being athletics was college and high school and you know semi professional baseball. Um, but for me, I've been very fortunate. But I've also been very diligent in trying to make sure that I don't eat too many things that are bad for me. Don't drink too much. Mm -hmm. Don't stay out too late. Even though performing in Vegas requires that sometimes. And some other um, things. But you know, I've been fortunate. I mean, I grew up in a very challenging uh, environment with a with a father that was gone a lot and who also had a, a ten tendency to drink, um, which I helped my father through that alcoholism period, which oh, is great. something I'm proud of. But wow. but to me I've, I've got enough experiences in life to relate to the pain of the people out here because I've watched it happen I've been in the emergency room and watched people overdose I've been in the room and mm -hmm. watched people die from heart attacks I've mm -hmm. cut people open in surgeries when I was doing medical and radiology and we've seen what happens when somebody abuses their body and so to me I've just because of that I just decided that's not what I wanted to be and how I wanted to live mm -hmm. and so I've tried to live that lifestyle because I don't think anyone out there is going to trust someone that's helping them lose weight that's way overweight doesn't look healthy doesn't live the lifestyle Style. Well, so, yeah, that would be kind yeah, of like so, self-defeating. Yeah, it'd be, you know, and I'm, I come from the South, so I'm not a hypocrite. Oh, good. Um, I you know, I, I try to live by the sword, die by the sword. So, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that's when you talk about all the people that you've seen and the health issues, and I think probably obesity would be one of the, because it affects the heart, it affects oh, yeah. the lungs, it affects everything. Oh, yeah. It affects just how you even get by in life. Well, it affects uh, all your, your systems. I mean, uh -huh. when, you, when you're overweight, your adrenal glands, your kidneys, your heart, your lungs, everything's, everything's stressed. Right. And then you, you hurt your back and all that. And, and I come from, you know, the 49th and 50th fattest states in America, <laughs> Alabama, Mississippi. Didn't know that. And so, you know, what I are the skinniest states? Yes. Yeah, so the skinniest <laughs> oh, states California. are not Alabama and Mississippi. It's got to be California with Hollywood. <laughs> and <laughs> right. You would be surprised. Some of the healthiest states are not the states that are on. I mean, places like Connecticut and Delaware and West Virginia, they have great, healthy people. They eat a lot of seafood. Uh -huh, um, they need a lot of protein, but mm -hmm. but during the during the winter time, they're out there shoveling snow, and you know it's it's a lot of exercise, a lot right. of work. So yeah. um, there's no rhyme or reason. There's no right or wrong. No pass or fail. Well, that's kind of so. good for viewers who are interested in coming into the audition. You're not sure. going to be judged. Nobody's going to sit there no. and snicker at you. You know. No, we want to find people who've been battling that their whole lives. Oh, I mean, yeah. you know, the biggest challenge for people is sometimes their parents bring them up in a very challenging environment. Or sometimes they work with people or go to school with people, and they're picked on and picked on and picked on. And at the end of the day, uh, sometimes the biggest change in a life can come from one word or one phrase or one touch on the hand or one touch on the shoulder, Even right? that later in life, that much later Absolutely. In life. I mean, think about people that have made, I mean, you know, people that have become celebrities. Well, I thought they had to do all these exercises and mental exercises and yoga. Exercises. Well, the body's a machine. You to, mean you can't right. make your car go faster if you park it in the garage and don't give it the right fuel, right? True. But so, but at the same time, I mean, some, exactly. But you've got celebrities that have made transformations. I mean, people that have changed their lives completely. I mean, it's yeah. it's so amazing yeah. to me that someone could start a career in their 40s and 50s that were completely like Rodney Dangerfield was a painter. Look right? at me! I started a TV show. There last you go. Year, you right. Know? So so it doesn't always have to be weight loss. The transformation can be anything, but it comes with a choice, and the choice is to be made by you. So. This kind of brings to mind, but I know a lot of people my age will just so resonate to this, but when I was young, we were brought up, you had to clean the plate, people were yeah. starving in other countries, yeah. and you had to, eat, you know, sure. clean all the food, Whether and I hated peas, that was a nightmare, I couldn't eat peas. The clean years. plate club. Right, and then, but I found like with my stepchildren and then my son, I, I just didn't want to do that, but I would make it, I said you have to at least taste it. Right. You know, at least here's a little bit. Sure. I didn't want them to have to shove the food down there. Portion control. So you've control. got traditions, too, I think. Absolutely. That, you know, in, Ho in the Hawaiian Islands, uh, when there's the Queen Lily Okalani, the bigger you were in some other cultures, the more money you had, the mm -hmm. more respected you were. So, you know. If that was the case in the United States, we'd have a lot of rich I was people. Say Probably that, living in trailers still, but oh. that's <laughs> not the point. The point <laughs> is, the point is, is that sometimes you have to question things, right? right. Like, you know, portion control. Most people eat portions that are just, the, and you go to a buffet, right? Uh -huh. But but we have to, to identify what are the problems we're having? Where is our health care system? Would that be a trigger? So. Like, is there some trigger there, too? There, the, you know, it could be, and it's just learning 
learning. I mean, mm-hmm. one of the great things, one of the reasons I selected to partner with Beachbody, who does the P90X and all right. that, is they have portion control. They send you containers and say, this is how much protein you can have. And that's all you're going to get. This is how get. much cholesterol, you can, uh, carbohydrates you can have. This is how much you can have for fats. And this is all the time we've got, because can so, you believe it or not, this 10 minutes, I'm so it sorry. Flew it flew by. so fast. It flew by. I must give a shout out to my sp- sponsor. I f- don't think I did last time. It's a Red Roof Inn on Paradise, close to the airport, very convenient to the Strip. Pet friendly. Pet friendly. There Free Wi Fi and continental <laughs> breakfast for guests. And don't forget to go to VegasOnlyEntertainment.com under VIPs for all the latest, greatest in Las Vegas in Jackie Brett's column. Thank you for tuning in. Next week, murder, marriage, and mayhem. Tune in.